Colt 45, single action. What a sweet one. This happens to be one that you've not seen fire. Hickok 45 here, by the way, with a 45. 45 Colt, just emptied it, okay? This is a, a single action that was made in 1902. All right, been a while. That makes this gun, woo, pretty old. You know, uh, most of you were not even born then, and uh, I was just a baby myself. So uh, that's uh, about 108 years ago, right? So uh, this is, I think when you think of the old guns, uh, first generation, this is classic. Uh, it's, uh, I've had this about 10 years, and it's one of the first old ones I, I owned. It, uh, the patina, the finish on it is just, uh, just gorgeous. Uh, obviously when it was new, it was a blued gun. Well, I say obviously, it was a blued gun, not necessarily obviously. I have the letter on it, so I know it was a blued gun, and it has just little remnants of the bluing left. But as they wear, they really develop character. And uh, as you see, this one has worn uh, evenly, and, and the, the nice patina color of it just, uh, it, it's the kind of thing that some of the, uh, the newer reproduction manufacturers are trying to emulate. Uh, Uberti and some of the companies are doing a pretty good job of making guns like this, new ones that, that look old, that look kind of like this. Uh, it's kind of neat. But anyway, this thing is really weathered well. Uh, it has worn well. It's very sound mechanically to be that old. It's in very good shape. This, this particular one uh, is not long after the black powder era, you realize, in 1902, because in the late 18, or in the 1890s is when that transition took place from black powder, nothing but black powder, to smokeless powder, the modern powders. And that's when they went away from the black powder frame, as they called it. Now, I've shown you my, my 1884 models where there's a screw right here you take out, and that's how you get the cylinder out. This has the uh, traverse bar there that you depress and then pull the pin out, the base pin, in order to get the cylinder out. And that came about in the late 1890s, you know, 1900 in that era. So 1902, which is just after that. In fact, this still has remnants of the older era in the barrel. It still has the old rifling. They call it, the, I think, the black powder rifling, the bead rifling. So it, uh, you know, whenever they make a transition or a, a, do something different to a firearm, there's usually a transition period where maybe they decide to put a different kind of neural on a hammer and they start making it different differently. Well, there's not like one day where they generally, they say, okay, stop the presses. Every gun hereafter will have exactly these parts. Well, they use up all the old hammers or all the old cylinders or the, the older barrels or, or whatever. So usually have a transitional period there where you get maybe a mix of parts. Uh, not that that's bad, it's just, uh, just the way it is. So this is a 1902 Colt single action army, has a five and a half inch barrel, kind of the classic length and uh, the mid-length and uh, in shoots well. I have actually used this in a cowboy match or two and I have fired it a little bit. I haven't fired it in quite a while. It's a beautiful autumn day. It's Labor Day, in fact, and Labor Day evening. And I was just kind of in the mood to sling some big chunks of lead through a classic old uh, revolver, you know, to wrap up the Labor Day holiday. And uh, so I'd invite you to come join me. How's that? And we're not gonna make this long, but uh, let me take a few shots. So again, this is a 45 Colt, 45 long Colt, sometimes called. You realize it's the same thing. And somebody asked me that on a, on a video, the difference, it's, it's really the same. I could get into a long explanation about why they call it the long Colt and all that, we won't do that today. But 45 Colt, 45 long Colt, that's basically the same thing. Okay, I loaded five. Let's just take a couple shots and let's stick my ears in here like any good cowboy would do. All right. And let's play. Now this gun has, a, again, everything on it's original. has the original grips. They're kind of thin and narrow. Uh, I prefer a little fatter ones of the third generation. But uh, it shoots fine. Just trying to make excuses. A gun like this, I've got to shoot the cowboy, right? I bet you Wyatt Earp didn't shoot any two liter bottles of, uh, of soda, you reckon? Well, maybe he did, you never know. 
except they'd have been made of glass. And I always think about that when I watch the cowboy movies, westerns, and uh, they're shooting all these glass bottles, whiskey bottles or whatever, you know. And uh, I just kind of doubt they did a lot of that, at least anywhere where they had their horses walking around or if they were walking around. So let's try a couple of these paint cans and these other sodas. <laughs> now you have to hold down a little bit with this gun. The windage is pretty good, but it shoots a little high. All right. I think maybe it's empty. Let's see if I keep them flinching. Yeah, wasn't empty. It's now. All right. Like I say, the windage seems to be right on with this old gun, but uh, as with most of them. They shoot a little bit high. In fact, that's what I get used to. I assume they're going to shoot high, so it doesn't bother me. Just hold on the bottom of whatever you're shooting at. Yeah. Now, I have lots of videos. I release several with these old guns, so uh, I'm not going to shoot a lot. I'm not even going to talk a lot. I was just in the mood to shoot it, and uh, thought I'd get it out and let you join me. Because believe it or not, we do shoot things just for fun and uh, not for videos, of course. The videos are fun, but we shoot guns that we enjoy shooting. And uh, I got my holster rig out. This is one I use in cowboy matches. Don't do those much anymore. To, I sound like some old man that, yeah, I used to do that back in the old day. It's really not that. I, I could go shoot uh, Ipsic tomorrow and IDPA and do cowboy shooting. I've done so much of that that, I don't know, it takes the whole day, it seems like, to go do it. and. Uh, I guess because I have the luxury of my own range and I can come out here and shoot this for 15 minutes and you know shoot something else later and go work after they do whatever I want to do so I don't get to the matches as much as I used to. I, I find I'm, I'm a little less patient about hanging around all day long at those things but uh, they are fun occasionally. So right, let's bang a little steel here. On the plates, I have to hold under them just a little bit. Again, yeah, it's not a big deal. There we go. See how simple they are to empty? As I mentioned before, the cowboys in the movies wrestle with those like there's uh, some big problem getting the shells out. I love the way they do it. They're always, they don't use gravity for one thing. They're, you know, they're wrestling with it. And, well, it just makes sense to me that you hold the gun up like this and then just punch them out into your hand let gravity be your friend, and that always seems to work pretty well for me. So, let's shoot five more here. This old war horse, old cowboy gun, peacemaker, cold single action. It's called everything, isn't it? Let's charge. Yeehaw! Quick, it? Also shows you can miss. It doesn't matter how close you are or how big a bullet you have. <laughs> that sight has to be on the target in order to hit it. So sweet. Love these old things. Again, this is a 250 grain bullet, and uh, that was pretty standard. I told you that was going to be my last five, didn't I? Yeah, I don't know. I just can't do that. I think I missed a couple there, and I got to shoot a couple more because I'm going to clean this one up and. This will be the last five shots for the long three-day weekend, so I wanted it to be fun. So I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to pop that cowboy. All right, cowboy. Feel better now. That's a better way to end the weekend. All right, five big ones out of a Colt 45 single action. That's 108 years old. It doesn't get a lot better than that, particularly if you like these old guns. And uh, I wish you could feel how warm it is. Reminds me of John Lennon. What did he say? Happiness is a warm gun. He was so right. He must have been a shooter. All right. Colt 45. Let's slip him back in the holster. 
and uh, we'll clean him up and uh, bring him out another day. A real classic piece. Glad you come to the range today because it really is pretty. And uh, I know you'd probably like to see a little lead get slung at steel. Y'all take care. Life is really good.